Welcome to Tabletop Tactics. Coming up in today's battle... Folks, welcome back to Tabletop Tactics with myself, Lawrence, and the Bard. It is James. It is indeed. Also yes. sometimes called JJ, I hear. Yes, that is a thing. Yeah. That is well, a uh, you know, um, I can't think of a fish beginning with J, so it will be jellied... Jelly deals? No, because that doesn't begin with J. Jelly does. <laughs> I'm one of the Unnet <laughs> Deep Kid today for the first time for your YouTube preview That's viewing neat. pleasure. I hope you're looking forward to it because I've really enjoyed using them once over and on demand cool, already. And you are bringing the Oryx. Beautiful green boys. I am take the, I've taken the Iron Dress before on demand, so if you haven't seen those, go see those. But yes, it's the first time on Freeview. Um, it is exciting. Um, to be bringing them onto the the big battlefield. Yeah, this is going to be pretty nasty. Uh, a real smash fest because <laughs> oh, I know yeah. that that's the way it can go with these Iron Jaws. Oh, they are yeah. really nasty in combat. I do have a little bit of firepower you to totally indeed. balance things out, but I've also got quite an elite army. If you guys want to see lots more of this type of content, you can go over to our website, tabletoptactics.tv, where you can sign up, become an awesome Mega Boss member, and we release at least three additional videos a week. That's just crazy. A vote cool. of content. But for now, it's time for steel and sorcery. It is time for the Age of Sigma. Here it is, 2,000 points of sea demonic elves coming at you. Thank you very much, Teclas, for the gifts you have bestowed upon us. We are running the Futhan Enclave today, my first time running them, and I'm very, very keen to run them too because they unlock some of my favorite units as battle line. So I've got two core battalions today, featuring one from the New General's Handbook, Season 2 of 2022-2023. Uh, so let's start with that one, shall we? So it's called the Galatian Command. It consists of one leader and one, it doesn't have to be battle line, one infantry unit can't be mounted. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken the Arcadian Thralmaster, who is, is an infantry character, becomes a Galatian champion, uh, and he's really good at buffing Namati Thrals, which I'm go going to also stick into this command battalion. Uh, and what that enables them to do is if they're wholly within six inches of each other, they can both fight right uh, one after the other. So they kind of got like a fight first after one's fought with the other one. Now I know I get fight first across the army from battle round three, I think it is, but um, for me, it's a really good thing to have in place. The Nomati Thralls are actually pretty good in combat. I've not used them before. It's only my second game with the Deepkin, but I'm keen to see what they can do uh, today in this game. So that's that battalion. We then have the rest of everything in a battle regiment, okay? So everything else is in a battle regiment, which will be one drop. That is led up by the Arcalian King. He is my warlord, which is cool, uh, or my general, sorry. Sorry, 40k, go away. He is my general, and I have really tooled him up. So he's got the mount trait, uh, which is called Void Shield Darkness, which means he's a minus one to hit. He's got the command trait, which is Unstoppable Fury, making him even better in combat. I have given him the pole arm as well, because it's damage three. And then for an artifact, I've given him the Arcane Tome. This is really cool, because then, then it's unlocked flaming weapon which means if i cast that he can be damaged four in combat which is in sigma is just bonkers good so um he is expensive but in my opinion really really good for his points um i've been really impressed with him in the last game that i used uh we then go over to the battle line now because he is my general it unlocks morsar guard as battle line and morsar guard really good you know these jelly deals do the business right so i've reinforced this unit as a unit of six of those with the standard bearer and the musician I picture them swimming round with him and just, you know, munching on whatever they come across. We then have a new unit unlocked as battle line, because it's my first time using Futhan, which is the Bloodthirsty Shiver. Now, these guys did have a little points increase in the new General's Handbook, but also the Morsar Guard had a points decrease, so it kind of all comes out in a wash. Um, the Bloodthirsty Shiver do operate independently, but they do, uh, you do have to buy them in a unit of three. Um, if I fish for sixes, 
fish for sixes. They do better shooting, which is nice. Um, so let's see how they do in this game. Uh, then we have a unit of 10 Namati Reavers. Really good firepower. Um, amazing that they're battle line. Uh, and they're going to live in my free Gloomtide shipwreck because that makes sense. They'll just garrison on board and uh, shoot things from it. It's really cool, which incidentally ties in with my grand strategy, which will be, I think it's called the Creeping Gloom Tide. So basically, if there's no enemy units within three inches of it at the end of the game, I'll achieve my grand strategy. It seemed very fitting. I wanted to pick an Iden F Deepkin specific one. I'm sure there's a more competitive one I could have picked from the General's Handbook, but as I'm learning, I'll stick with what I know at the minute. Then to round off this list, I'm gonna take the big guy again. It is the Leviathan. This guy's actually received a points decrease in the latest um, General's Handbook updates. Um, they are still expensive, but my goodness, do they have a lot of punch and they've got firepower to boot. And also, I just like taking a big monster in Sigma. It feels like it rounds the army off and you've got a nice centerpiece model. So that's my army. Let me know what you guys think. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, expert Ideneth Deepkin players out there. I'm really enjoying them. They very much fit my play style. Um, so hopefully they can do the business against these Oryx today. Let's see how they do. The Iron Jaws return to the battlefield! Um, again, at 2,000 points, which is very nice, I'm enjoying having the full contingent of the Orcs um, to see what they are capable of. Had a good run out with them last time, so I'm hoping to have more success today. I'm taking two core battalions today. I'm taking a Warlord Battalion and I'm taking a Battle Regiment. Um, I'm taking the Warlord Battalion because I want to get those extra artifacts um, amongst the list. Um, so there's a few things we'll go into there. And it is nice having the Battle Regiment so you get that single drop to try and help you get the priority. It doesn't always work that way, but it is quite nice to try and do so. So the list itself, I am taking the Iron Sons today. Um, I did really enjoy the choppers last time because I like how much punch it gives the brutes, but I do really enjoy the Iron, Iron Sons. It's a nice little, little cheeky little anti-charge deterrent in the fact that if you are within 12, you can charge someone in your opponent's charge phase, which is very nice as a cheeky little back pocket command ability. Um, the main man himself today is, of course, Gordrak the Fist of Gork. He has received a points decrease, which is very nice. I know some of you have been saying, I know it, generally speaking, the better way to do this is take a regular Mega Boss and more Crusher. So you can give him the Amulet of Destiny, you can give him loads of other um, upgrades and mount traits. But I do really like Gordrak, and I painted him. So, hey, he's here. Um, he is still, he's got Smashing, he's got Cunning, he's got his amazing weapons, and he's an absolute monster when he wants to be. And last time he went on a bit of a rampage, so I'm hoping he does the same today. The general themselves today, though, is a mega boss on foot. I've done this so I can give him mega bossy, so I have two separate units that can do mighty destroyers, just to help with that distribution across the army to get that momentum and get that speed, which is what the Iron Jaws need so they don't get stuck in the mud and die a horrible death. Also, artifact-wise, I'm giving him destroyer, because once a battle, you can just make his weapon double damage, which is incredibly silly but very fun it might come up it might not he probably will be spending more time on the backfield but he is a galatian champion given he is on foot which is very nice speaking of galatian champions i also have two war chanters and a weird knob shaman um i've put the shaman and gordrak in the warlord battalion so i can then give the shaman um the um the Tome of Power, I can't remember his name, but you know what I'm talking about. So we can cast an additional power. Um, he's got the Hand of Gork and also he'll be Mystic Shielding. That's my plan with him anyway. You might see where this is going, but we'll get to that in the battle. Um, and then the War Chanters are distributed evenly across the two um, detachments, um, just so I can get all the right slots filled. Beat-wise, I've got the Get and Beat and I've then got the Fixing Beat, so I've got a little bit of healing and I've also got that 3d6 18-inch charge if I need it. Troops-wise, I have one 10-man unit of Ard Boys, which are in the Warlord Battalion, and then three five-man units of Brutes. I am really enjoying the Brutes. Um, I know a lot of people are taking more Gore Grunters, but then I would also take... Hey, if I was trying to be super competitive, I'd have two more Crushers, but I don't, so we're having a fun time here. So the three units of five Brutes, um, they've got the Gore Hackers, oh no, they've got the Choppers, and they've got the big, massive Gore Chopper, massive horse-destroying the huge scary blade, um, which is really, really nice when that comes up, especially because now the Glacian Champion can do all-out attack on a trip C. So we'll see if that comes up. 
I then also have two units of three gore grunters. The guy, these guys do have the gore hackers, so the spears, um, so they can do the extra mortal wounds on the charge, which is very nice, or rather make it easier to go off. The gore grunters are exceptionally good. They're really tough, they're really fast, especially in Mighty Destroyers, so I'll need to use them wisely today, and hopefully they'll form the spear tip of the initial charge. It is 2,000 points on the nose, which is very nice because I've snuck in Morgox Crushers. This is a little three-man unit, like a special brute unit. Um, they, I believe they were like an Underworlds kit, but they now can be used in Sigma, which is very nice. Um, so just the three of them, they've got some interesting weapons. Um, and um, Morgok himself is quite handy, but they're mainly just an extra an extra set of bodies to be used, especially because you kind of want to have as many bodies as possible to keep them on objectives and keep the killing going. That is the list. We will see how it performs on the battlefield. Today's battle plan is Path of a Champion, a pitch battle from the General's Handbook. Four predetermined objective markers are placed onto the battlefield. At the start of your hero phase, if any friendly Galatian champions are contesting an objective wholly outside your territory, you can pick two battle tactics to complete that turn instead of one. Each player score victory points at the end of each of their turns as follows. Score one victory point if you control at least one objective. Score one victory point if you control two or more objectives. Score one victory point if you control more objectives than your opponent. Score two victory points if you complete the battle tactic you picked that turn. Each player also scores three victory points at the end of the battle if they completed their grand strategy. <laughs> we have deployed across <laughs> this ice waste. I like to think that this once was like a monastery for the Ideneth. Oh, yeah. Deep below the ice, there was some artifact. And you were like, oh, we need to go and recover it from our ancient cousins or something. You've turned out, we've destroyed your monastery. So it was, it was a stuff. Lumineth uh, mo monastery. Yeah, something like that. And like yeah. deep below it in the icy water, like underneath is where like there's Ideneth relics. Cause all hands have long been and, uh, taken over yeah, by we've, the orcs. We've turned up and had a bit of a party. It's very interesting. Uh, now, I did drop first. I deployed you first. You did indeed, despite, yes. Despite you actually deploying a unit first as well. But I yes. had everything in nice in the battalion and then other than the uh, command thing. I did mention in my list as well, guys, that the uh, Bloodthirsty Shiver, um, would it would help them um, with their shooting. I was actually mistaken. I just reread it, which is good, so I won't make the mistake during this <laughs> game uh, where their exploding hits only actually happen in combat with one of the units and it explodes better if, to, if they're close to their friends. Uh, so don't worry, I won't make that mistake this game. Um, let's see how they do. Let's see oh. how they do. So I am actually going to choose the priority. Fair enough. Uh, I know this isn't always the best thing to do uh, competitively in Sigma, but I found with my one game, my expert knowledge of the Deakin, <laughs> that actually if I get the drop on my opponent and can do some shooting yeah. first, that's a good thing for me. Yeah, certainly with the, sh um, the shooting, you've got that option to actually do a bit of an alpha yeah. strike in a way. Right. So. And plus I think I can, you know, be tactical and help further screen with my Nomati Thralls here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if that was a good idea or not. Now I'm going to go right into my battle tactics straight away. I'm actually going to choose Desecrate Their Lands because you do have this feature partially within your territory. Really? And actually if I do an at the double, I will guarantee get more models within three. How many models does he count as? Five. I think maybe ten. He's made a behemoth, not just a monster. We can check that, just but I think he's just of outside three. anyway. I think he's um, just outside. <clears throat> a little tactical gauge. Yeah, he's outside. He's of outside of three. Look at that tactical gauge. There you go, tactical Behold. gauge, everyone. I mean, Available I, I, on tabletoptactics.tv. <laughs> I know. I mean, I enjoy the fans. You might be wondering against a shooting army why Gordrek is so far forward. Ultimately, there wasn't really a way I could hide him. No. So I kind of figured I'm if I did get the opportunity to go first, I'm just going to have to be aggressive. So we'll see how that plays out for me. He could be under a bit of <laughs> being in a bit of trouble, but, but you will of course be able to buff him up. So uh, you know what be... my battle tactic is. Yep. It will be my hero phase next. Let's get into it. Okay, hero phase time. Um, I don't really have many command abilities uh, to use. So the first thing I'm going to try and do is um, heroic leadership. <laughs> uh, oh, my king. See if I get a CP. I do not. Okay. I guess he wasn't that heroic in that moment. Now, the question is to cast flaming weapon or not. Um, I think if I do cast it... That might. I don't believe I'm in dispel range either, so you're pretty much yeah, you're free to you're free to do as you please. I can't stop you. The weapons. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna cast it. Flaming weapon. 
Uh, it's a six. It goes off on a six. Your weapon is flaming. Serves. So uh, just in case you do something like the old DT maneuver, depending on where I end up. Uh, okay, that's my hero phase done. Let's do some movement. Just I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, you've, you've got something to do? Well, I'm, this is a risk, but because you're so fast and so shooty, you can get a Gordrak this turn. And what do you mean? Whatever do you mean? <laughs> and what is the AP on your harpoon thingies? Is the AP um, on those? Or the, the AP, AP, sorry. The AP rend. Is, the rend is one. Rend is one. Yeah. Oh. Let me have a thing and we'll come back to that. I am going to do my heroic action. It sounds insane, but finest hour on Gordrak. I haven't been able to put Mystic Shield on him yet, so it just hopefully will help keep him a little bit safer from any harpoons. Okay, well, I'm going to spend a CP on at the double uh, for the Namati over here, and that will get them to within three inches of this terrain to desecrate the land. I've just run the Thrall Master. And he's ended up moving 10 inches, which is perfect. He's going to land himself there. The Morsar guards have uh, slithered their way through the Ether Sea this way. Uh, only got a one on the advance, but since they move 14 base, that's still good enough to steal this objective. The Bloodthirsty Shivers, or the Arcadian Alapexes, uh, dedicated to the Fruthen Enclave, are going to move just 14, just in front of this objective. They are now treated as separate units. Um, so therefore, there is no champion in here. However, um, they do have some benefits in combat with exploding hits, potentially. That'll get them into range of some nice targets. The Leviathan. The High King of the Seas, Poseidon himself. Shh. Sorry, that's the wrong mythology there. Anyway, my High King moves there. It's a shooting phase. I don't like being shot at in a game about combat. <laughs> Horrible. The, the first, right, I'm gonna get this name right. The first of my bloodthirsty shiver. Bloodthirsty shiver. <laughs> we'll fire its uh, harpoons at this unit of ball boys here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saving all out defense. Okay. You worried about uh, Mr. Cabbage, are you? Not saying I'm worried about him, I just don't wanna. Worried, are you? <laughs> uh, right, you're hitting on threes. I've hit three times. It's it's a symphony. The symphony of the sea. The sirens are singing to you, and they are singing your demise with three wounds. Because I hit on threes, and I wound on threes, sir. Hey! Yep. One rend. Oh, I don't and save any I of them. I don't save a single one. Oh, the good one thing is, I would have failed them anyway, even with all that defense, so. That's true. So. Right, <laughs> this is 3d3 damage, then. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, so, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So I guess you kill a ball. I kill a ball. I've done uh, seven wounds in total. Okay. Kill one wound, another. Bloodthirsty blood shiver. Uh, and I'm sure it sent shivers down your spine. I'm um, a shivering. The second of the bloodthirsty shiver. You are a fisherman. You're dangling that bait, aren't you? <laughs> so I'm trying, to see if, I'm trying to see if we can get him to spend his all-out defense before we get to the inevitable big boy. Bad ass on the dragon. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to fire up that unit again with the second for the buffer. Yep. Okay, so we hit the threes, so that's very nice. It's all, it's all beautiful averages. It's three wounds. I am rolling above average here. Those just... beautiful averages, everybody. Uh, beautiful averages! I save one! You save one! I love that you're surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Two, three, down on. Two, Oh, so oh, you do it's kill another! Thing of beauty. <laughs> I love my rolling. I love it. Woof. The final bloodthirsty shiver will go for the same boar because uh, you can do some healing in your army. You'll have the fix and beat, yes. So, uh, you know. No. Okay. <laughs> you know. No. Uh, it's another three hits. I'm having a shivering. Ah! It's another three wounds. It's a symphony. The sirens sing. Well, again. Ah, beautiful averages! Oh, I don't save anyway. Well, yeah. you are dead before. He's I roll dead, my yeah. Can I roll my damage in and it carries over to the cabbage man? I'm afraid not, no. You can reflect it back on you, though, the damage. If you roll it, yeah, have your hubris. It, it. <laughs> it's now time for the Leviathan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a very similar creature to this in the new Avatar film, by the way. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. And I have Jake Sully running around in a minute. and uh... I wouldn't know. You guys watched it without me. Yeah, it is. It's true, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I did invite you, though. 
I did invite you, Endless Spell. Um, yeah. You were too busy for... Yeah, the Endless Spell is making us look bad, but... <laughs> right, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, fire all eight shots from my two, well, my single razor shell harpoon launchers. <laughs> well, you know! I believe they're the more vulnerable target and I have a philosophy of shooting what I can kill. That is your philosophy. I am all out defending the, the ball. Well, I'm all out attacking. Very well. Okay, we will spend our CPs. I'm down to zero CP for the moment. Eight shots. Now I'm hitting on twos because this survivor no! hits on twos, which is extraordinary. You'd be happy to know I rolled four ones. Beautiful averages. Can I pull that back with some wounds? I get three wounds. You know what? I'll take it. Hey, yep. I save one, but two do go through. So you two, could kill damage. a boar here. I'd like to kill a boar. I do kill a boar. Kill a boar. Oh, <laughs> Precisely kill a boar. That is very nice. Okay, so. <laughs> One is slain, harpoon through its chest. <laughs> um, that actually concludes my turn. Very well. I've achieved my battle tactic because I have desecrated this land here, sir. You have indeed. Um, there is nothing further to add, but uh, I'm on two points. Oh, I'm holding two objectives as well. Uh, and as I'm also holding more than you, so I'm getting all of the points this Good turn. Stop. And James, do you have battle shock to take on the grunt? Uh, fail on a six. Can you fail on those ball riders on a six? Um, let me quickly check that the mega boss doesn't give them a like, oh, we're not scared because we got our mate with us. Okay. But um, we'll come right back to that. <sighs> no, I don't get any. Nice. You're, you're strong because you're next to Gordrak, right, Fist of Gorg. So you could just... Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to spend the CP because ultimately... Oh, we'll, we'll do an experiment. Okay, it's a four. They would have been fine anyway, but because I get a CP next turn, I should be okay for what I want to do anyway. It's just like, ah, uh, why, why? Why is the bravery so low? Why? I don't know. It's a shame. It should be big and scary. Uh, I'm sure they are when they get there. Okay, so that's my turn. I did get the five points, holding one, holding uh, two, and holding more than you ultimately. Plus, I completed my battle tactic. It's over to you, sir. Thank you very much. Turn one for the Iron Jaws. Um, a few things to do here. Um, battle tactic wise, I'm going for Cunning Maneuver. Because I'll be able to run my um, War Chanter over to that objective. So I'll be able to get that, hopefully. Um, and then in terms of heroic actions, I'm going to do heroic leadership on Gordrak. Yay! I get a bonus CP for him. I'm going to try and do heroic leadership on the Thrall Master. Yes. Yes. One CP. CP for days. Um, we then come to the spells. Um, the Weird Knob is going to cast Mystic Shield onto Gordrak. Hey, yep! Oh. He does! Yay! Where is he? Um, he's just here. Is it 30 inches? 30 inches, yes. I cannot deny. No, you cannot, no. Um, so he's got Mystic Shield on, which will give him a little bit of defensible. Because now I am also, because he's got the, um, not Infernal Tome, Arcane Tome. Arcane Tome, yeah. He's going to try and cast the Big Hand of Gork onto Gordrak. Okay. Hey, yep! That does go off. So now, a big hand comes down, scoops him up. Picks him up. And moves, oh, and his friend, and moves him to here. Smash. <sighs> so, a few more bits to do in the hero phase. Um, the war chant is going to see if he can do the get and beat onto the um, brutes. Does not go off. That's fine, we'll just have to make that work, but a little bit annoying. Um, Mighty Destroyers wise, Gordrak is gonna put it on himself um, using his free CP and these brutes here. And then um, this general here is gonna put Mighty Destroyers onto the Gore Grunters and to the brutes over here, so they can move in the hero phase. Um, this War Chanter doesn't really have any, any beats that are relevant because you killed my boar outright. He's got nobody to heal. Um, so that's all that. Um, and then the War Chanter will put Violent Fury onto these brutes just so they get the extra damage. Okay. The War Chanter moves over this way. I've, I've paid a CP to auto run him or at the double him um, so he can get my battle tactic. Yay! The running phase. Um, Big Base Barry, as this warlord has been called apparently by Jinx, um, got a six. You're so they're zooming welcome. all the way over to here. Um, I got five on the brutes, so they are also zooming up to protect their leader. Protect yours, sir. Uh, I got a two on the war chanter, which does keep him protected. And then the Morgoth's Crushers got a three, so they're doing a bit more of a tentative move and keeping up. 
These brutes move forward. Um, they will be contesting the objective, which is nice for me, but also getting themselves in range for potential charge. Yes, it would have been nice to have 3d6. Yes, it would have. You're right, dear, dear viewer. It would have been. Hold. <laughs> Slither back to the seas, my kin. I'm going to redeploy. <laughs> yeah, it makes uh, sense. So yeah. the Higher King or the Arcadian King will uh, tell his Morsar guards to spread <laughs> to the tides. Three. Three, Three inches. Will okay. do. Okay. Because what I need to do is this guy I can I th see is potentially going to go around here. He could do. Not interested. Or was it a trap? Who knows? Who knows? What it is, it will not be happening on my watch. <laughs> not in my ocean. <laughs> not quite the um, flight of the Valkyries that I was expecting, but... Gordra <laughs> 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 moves as close as he possibly can, not <laughs> being too close. <laughs> the Yard Boys and the um, Shaman are just sort of fanning out, really. They've got five in their run, so they're just sort of moving as far as they can, um, just to make sure they're potentially going to get involved in the game at some point. Hopefully, maybe. See how it goes. <laughs> Shooting phase! Um, Kordrak. Um, he's going to do his inner bursting roar um, at the Orm Morsar guard. Okay. Um, six attacks, hitting on twos. I rolled two ones. Yay! Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> wounding you on threes. It's one wound. Oh. That minus one. Oh. Well, I can't just be in cover because yep. of yep. the tide that we're in. I do fail the save, though. You'd be happy to know. Take a damage! It's just, uh, that was oh. a light roar. It's not like a yawn. <laughs> Hit with a wet fish. <laughs> the Gore Grunters are going to attempt a charge. Well, this is going to attempt a charge, because you don't have to declare what in cinema. Oh. Yay! My th potentially my thralls. They will be in! No! Meep, meep. So they'll choose to go into the thralls. Um, I'll move them in in a second, because then we need to do the stuff that start the charge phase for their mortal woundage. Um, but Gordrak will... Actually, first the Brutes will attempt to charge into okay. the Morsar Guard. Yep. Hey, yep! You need a ten. Um, no, a seven. <laughs> it would have got them in earlier. <laughs> but alas. Um, Gordrak himself. Uh, yep. He I think he makes in. it. Just a little bit. <laughs> the Gore Grunters need to do their Gore Grunter charge. Um, there's only two of them, so I roll two dice and on a three plus. My thralls. You take two mortal wounds, good sir. Ow. Been charged. Bleh. Okay, well that, Speared. that will kill two of my thralls. Two dead. Have it. We then need to do the monstrous rampages. Okay. Um, so will Stomp go off on Gordrak? It does indeed. So with Gordrak, I need to roll the normal. Is it's normally D three mortal wounds? Yeah. Stomp. Yeah, it is. Isn't is it different it? for him? Yes. Okay. So he gets one more wound there, but you also take an additional four mortal wounds because of his destructive bulk. Ouch. Because he's massive. Wait, so you've saved so done four mortal wounds. Yes. Aye. Total. Okay, so one one of my one eels is, is dead and one <laughs> loses a wound. He's, he's picked him up and just gone. <laughs> there. Oh. We start the actual fighting phase itself um, with Gordrak. Yes. Start as I mean to go on. Yes. Um, the mighty fist and tail into your Morsar eels. Okay. Um, um, he's done some good hitting there. That's very nice. Um, same again would be lovely. Um, it's not too bad. Oh, it's pretty bad. Um, that three is wounds. three wounds. Minus is two. Yes. So I count as being in cover because of my tide. Indeed. So five up saves here. Uh, I don't make any of those. They are three damage a pop, good sir. Yes. Mm. Gordrak continues his pain train. Smashing and cunning. Yeah. They're going to go into So one's your got heels. one wound left, by the way, guys. Yes. And there's still three in the screen. Yes, indeed. So yeah. hopefully Gordrak get lucky here. Whoop. Um, he has Ooh. missed you twice, but he has hit you. Oh, he does hit on some, twos, He hits on twos, oh, the dude himself. Nice. He's, I guess he's, he's the orkiest orc. I, I, I'm, I'm all for it. Even though he's missing part of his face. <laughs> um, he is wounding you on threes here, though. Oh, that's a terrible roll. Oh, that's bad. That's two wounds. <laughs> and this is only minus one. Yeah. Goodness gracious me. I do save one because uh, I can't be in cover. So I kill another. So you kill another, but the unit is alive. So uh, you, that means you can't activate the other one? Yep. It means oh, that. goodness. Oh, goodness. I'm going to put a spell on you. <laughs> You're going to be shivering. It's a brand new song. I'm making it up. <laughs> I like this one. I've now piled in with my thralls. Now, you've got more than one wound. You've got three or more wounds. So I'm damaged two now with the thralls. They're actually yeah. a pretty tasty unit. I like them. Um, my free CP that I gain, gained, I'll use for all-out attack. Yeah. Um, he would have put... Um, I said it off camera, but I didn't yeah. say it here because I wasn't sure he was going to strike with first. I put yeah. way of the vortex on them, mm -hmm. so I'm a minus one to be wounded. Yeah. If you it make, it me. makes sense because probability would have dictated that Gordrak would have killed and then yeah. activated them. So yeah. it makes Obviously, if I'd known sense. he didn't kill them, yeah, I would have exactly done like, right. the reroll <laughs> ones to hit on them or something. 
But yeah. just, you know, that's you what know, I've yeah. got on them. So that won't have an effect uh, at the minute. But I'm going to do all that attack. Spent that CP from him. I'm hitting on twos and I'm wounding on threes. <laughs> oh, no. <Ooh>. Okay. <clears throat> that's pretty good. That's a good start. Now, these good are minus start. one as well. <laughs> so the Marty growls. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness mm -hmm. me. Uh. Three, six, nine... 10, 11, 12, five up saves are required. 12, five up saves are required on those gore grunters. Just 12. 11, 12. Just the 12. Just the 12. Just the 12. Just 12, five up saves. I don't have any CP, because gore drag found no, 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 no. Just 12. You've rolled very well, very, very well. Uh, however, you, despite rolling really well, you lose you a pick. I know, I lose. Two, four, six. Uh, it's 10 damage. You still lose the unit. He still loses the unit despite an incredible roll. Is there five wounds to pop, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah two, Ten four, damage. six. Oh, it's eight damage, isn't it? Five up saves? Yes. Oh, I thought I saw five. One is there. alive on... Oh, one's alive on one's two. One's alive! One's alive on two wounds, okay. <laughs> Look at that! Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, I have a Gore Grunter alive. It would have been nice to have two, but... Gore Jack! <laughs> right. The Jagged Gore Hacker. Um, hitting on threes, wounding on threes, minus one rend. Okay. I've hit you twice. Splendid. To wound you. So it's minus one to wound me? I don't know. Yes, so I have wounded you twice, Echo. It's okay. threes to wound. So Minus? Uh, minus one rend. Minus one rend. One save and one fail. So that's just a one damage. So I kill another. The tusks and hoofs. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, hit you three times. Already um, the adage of the tusks and hoofs being better. Yes. Um, I wound you only once, though. Uh, maybe this the adage isn't correct. Yeah, um, this is just, no, there's no rend here. Okay. I make that save. Very well. That's one. Okay. Still alive. <laughs> the Morsar Guard. <laughs> Die. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, just got the five attacks, including the one with the champion. We're going to open up with the Vault Spears. The Vault Spears. The Vault Spears. Oh, my goodness. I do have my king uh, within range. Uh, so, that gives them a... Add one to the hit rolls. There we go. What okay. happens you don't kill stuff, so Gordrak? on twos. We hit with four of them. Good start, good start, good start. Okay. I'm not worried, I'm fine, I'm fine. Then to wound you. <laughs> I, oh, I, I only wound you once. Okay. okay. Um, the rend, please, sir. Uh, the rend is nothing on a Volt Spear. Oh, cool. So, because of the missing shield? i the light stuff. I save it! Yay! Okay. Then we're going to do the fangs and lashing tail. So, two, four, five, six attacks here. Some the eels. The king doesn't give them anything else. My impression there. of eels. Lord of the Tides, once a vassal at the end of the charge phase, da 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 da. Cool. Uh, these hit on threes also, uh, but they get plus one to hit. The There's a lot of extra rules here. It does say Arcadian units, so they do hit on twos. Um, it's not just the riders. And then to wounds, they wound a little better, so I've got three wounds there. The rend, good sir. Is one. It's one, so these yeah. will be four up saves. Here! Okay, that is them. three D3 damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Three wounds. <laughs> an eye for an eye, isn't it? An eye for an eye, yes. <laughs> That's fighting done. Indeed. It's the morale phase. Um, I have to do a morale for them. I fell on a five or a six. I fail. So he is gone, and that is all that they wrote. Uh, <laughs> I also failed on a five over here. No, they passed. Brave. Okay. So um, I've got one champion left for yes. my Morsar guard. Uh, will the Gore Grunter run away? No, he stays on a three. He is semi-brave. Okay, fine. Uh, that's yeah. the turn. That is my turn. So points-wise... Points-wise, did okay, got my battle tactic, and I'm on two objectives, which is very nice. Not killing the eels of Gordrak is very annoying, and I'm also... You're on three, three objectives. objectives. I'm on three objectives. You are holding more, so you'll I get meant, the five. I meant the two is in no man's land. See, my brain wasn't working. <laughs> um, yeah, Gordrak not killing the eels is by the by. It does mean it has sort of hurt my gore grunt is a bit but that is the sort of payoff and the gamble um got some board control so we'll see what happens right. i think i'm about to get harpooned though <laughs> well uh you got a roll for that <gasps> oh yes Priority <laughs> after you good sir no no after you oh, okay very chivalrous <laughs> of you yes. ah, it's a roll two, two. <laughs> i roll a, a five, five. That's significant. Uh, I think if you got the priority there, it could have been real nasty could have been, for could me. Could have been spicy. Um, uh, although I would have technically still held you up there. Yeah. But me having the priority now will... Sting. Sting. Yeah. I'm taking it. Yeah, fair. Uh. 
So, what we have now is my hero phase. Uh, I do have a vassal tactic picked. Nice. Uh, I'm going to do gaining momentum, and I'm going to choose to kill that unit and hold more <laughs> objectives than you at the end of this turn. <laughs> Some may say that's a bold strategy. Might be possible. <laughs> well, I'm going to see if it works. Um, that's it. Going straight into the hero phase, I'm going to try and do um, heroic leadership on my king. Very nice. So, that does go off, so he gets a free C. P. I nice. am going to try and do the same um, okay. on old Gordrak because he might, he might need some CPs. He doesn't get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> then what I'm going to do is try and cast Flaming Weapon. That does go off. It does uh, indeed. You've just pre-measured. You're not within. Yeah, I'm not within the spell range. No. Uh, but that makes him super nasty in combat. It does indeed. So. Mm. Okay. So with all of that in mind, uh, it will be my movement phase next. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, the high, uh, my king will issue a command to the Leviathan to do at the double because in this current tide, in this new battle round, I can run and still shoot or charge, and so that means he can move 16 inches, which is pretty nasty. Ooh. The Leviathan swims, runs, flies over here. Hello. Now, if my calculations are correct, just need to move him so that we did have to move. We measured it. There we go. So now he will steal the objective from the two models which are holding this one because unlike 40k, they're not obsec. <laughs> Yay. The Thralmaster will move tuck in here to continue. Mastering the Thralls. The first of the Bloodthirsty Shiver, because they swim or fly through the Ether Sea, just landing just over three inches away from both of these units there. My king uh, has just ran, um, because can run and charge in this tide. Um, just landing just over three inches away with that extra run from him. And now these Alapex, Bloodthirsty Shiver, come and join him. Uh, they're not running. These are just the normal 14-inch move, but phew, they do move quickly. See, slight adjustment. Uh, that one will stay where it is, but instead of moving 14 inches that way, I'll actually move 14 inches over here to join his friend. A bit like so. The Marty Reavers time. Yeah. So I get 20 shots. I am in range of both Gordrak and the Gorgrunter. You are indeed. Uh, I'm going to fire 10 shots at the Gorgrunter. So five at there and five at there. Um, are you going to do anything in... I am retaliation? going to pop all out vents onto Gordrak because he still has Mystic Shield, so it gives him a little bit more of a layer of defense. I understand. Uh, yes, I am, I am actually a minus one on the Reavers as well with the with the bows, these. So, Ooh. yeah. All right, so Ooh. 10 shots into him. 10 shots. We hit on threes. These into this man. Yes. yes. And then they wound on threes. Oosh. Uh, so that's four wounds at minus one. So you're what, on four? Five up saves now? Yep. Hey. yep. He, he's hey. deceased. Yes, okay, he so gone. he was cut, he was uh, shot down whilst in combat. Riddled with arrows. Um, but that now, by definition, assuming nothing changes over here, means that I've got my battle tactic. With yes, indeed. Momentum. Okay. Slight correction uh, on that. I don't quite have the battle tactic yet. I will need to kill Gordrak or kill some more of those orcs uh, after my charge phase. I'm sort of thinking ahead here. Uh, also, um, a slight rewind because still learning Sigma here. I can't do um, heroic willpower as in gaining a free CP and his finest hour. Now, as I declared that I was good, wanting to do finest hour off camera mm -hmm. and then I rolled for the command point. But actually, I obviously, I don't care about the command point. I'd rather have finest hour. So. I've taken away his free command point. He doesn't have it, but it is his finest out because it would make sense You're that we have a deal. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so that's the only change. But that aside, let's do the other 10 shots at Gordrak. Gordrak so yep. he's already lost three wounds. He has indeed. Uh, you're peppered with some more shots I've been here. peppered here. It always feels strange, like just looking at their wound roll and not feeling like- Yeah, because you think he'd be really to... tough. Yeah, yeah, he's just sort of like, <laughs> Uh, oh, <laughs> and as a result, I get six wounds. Now, you have got Mystic Shield and All Out Defense, so you still get three up save. Yep. And you, oh, oh my goodness. Four you go through. Four wounds from the Mighty uh. Reavers. Uh. Okay. It's going well. Uh. This Bloodthirsty Shiver shooting on, saves. into Gordrak. Uh, three hits. Mm. Bloodthirsty sh 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 Shiver. Mm. It's only the one wound, though. Hey, Godrak! Oh, I've thrown it off the table. Godrak! <laughs> no, it's D3 damage, James. <laughs> 
It is only it is one. one. <laughs> Could you please do something, Dice? Please! Second bloodthirsty shiver. It's almost like it's, uh, oh. it's a running theme here. That's Horrible. four hits, unfortunately, for you. Ah! That's four hits. Oh, goodness. That Oh, it's only two wins. Only two wins. It's only two wins. Good luck! Yay! Okay, you make it. Okay, whilst we're here, we'll do the last one into him as Makes well. complete sense. Okay, whilst we're here. Uh, that's three hits. He said, I've done the blood. Uh, there is three wounds. And I've done the bloodthirsty shiver. Godrak! So oh, two oh, five. Oh, nice. Come on, Godrak. <laughs> come on, he's coming back. He's on the ropes, but he's not done. <laughs> that's going to bring it to the Leviathan. Eight shots into Godrak. <laughs> it has to be this way. Oh, that's nice. Good start. <laughs> you must die. Oh, wow. Five wounds. Come on. Five wounds. Go track! Oh, oh it's, it's, uh, not, it's not good. I take three. That's three. So it's 3d3. Three 3d3. Three three. Right. Can I get more than ones and twos? <laughs> Almost. Uh, I did two wounds so plus three wounds. Five, five. wounds. Okay. <laughs> Whittling. It's a charge phase. <laughs> The great king, Lord Poseidon. Oh, that's Ooh, exactly what in. I wanted. <laughs> now, this is significant because of Unstoppable Fury. I'm actually going to come into both units yep. because I'll just get all of the attacks, basically. Ooh. All of maybe, the bonus attacks. Maybe it'll be your folly. Um, I'll move him accurately in a minute. Then I'll charge this Alapex in, or Bloodthirsty Shiver. That's an eight. So I will also use that to come around here. Ooh, just more objective holding. Um, then I will charge this Alapex. Makes it just on a three, because he was just three inches away from both. Uh, and then this one on the outside makes it on a seven. Cool, so I'll move them in now. Very well. Right, the king has now finished his charge. Uh, and at the end of the charge phase, two things are going to happen. One, the Lord of Tides, which will give me D3 units to put into the tide where I fight first, which is nasty. Uh, but first of all, the Deep Mare horn oh okay uh, deep mare horn goes off on a two plus and you'll suffer d3 mortal wounds Ooh, this isn't a gordrak one presumably. this is into gordrak okay. it does go off Spend you suffer time. d3 mortal wounds you suffer two, two mortal more. wounds so he's oh. now lost 15 wounds oh. now the lord of the tides ability oh it's the worst one for you that's three units so Ooh. i'm going to pick myself <laughs> to have fights first yep and then i'm going to pick he should kill you now. <laughs> it's always a risk. <laughs> um, go on, go I back. will. I'm going. Do you know what? I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going. I rate him. I'm going. <laughs> You're backing him. I'm backing him. <laughs> backing he's going to have fight first, and That's then right. he's going to put the other two fights first on these Alapex. Makes sense. Yeah. So then I could potentially wipe them all. Makes him. complete sense before I can then get, get involved. Uh, yes, now you do get to do roars and stomps and all weird all sorts. I of get things. to do my stomp. I get to do my monstrous actions. Yes. Um, to which I'm going to stomp the king. Sure. Because I can. Sure. So, does it go off? Does it go off? It does go off. It does. Okay. How many more wounds do I do? It is the big three. So I do five total there with my destructive plus bolt. Plus two? Yeah, plus two. Because nice. I am quite degraded now, but I okay. do take well, five look, more I've wounds. I've only got two wounds left, if that's the case. Ooh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> You've done some damage to my king, but this is like, this is the king's moment. <laughs> yeah. It's his finest hour, you so, could say. Because he's got it's his finest hour and he's got flaming weapon on as well. Yep. Uh, he's going to hit you with the bladed pole arm first. Now, normally, the good news is that's only three attacks. However, because I'm in range of two enemy units yep. with Unstoppable Fury, yep. I get another four attacks yep. with that. Yep. That's yep. with every melee weapon, yep. apparently, yep. which I find bonkers good. He is 250 points, <laughs> Uh Right. I'm now going to spend a CP on all out attack. Yep. So I don't have any CP left. That's going on my key. Mm -hmm. He hits Gordrak on twos. Are you doing anything, James? I mean, your rend here is like minus three. It's minus three on a turn I charge. Yeah, if you want to put all out defense on. It takes it, me back to a four. I mean, I'll see if I can keep him alive. I mean, well, probably, yeah. I may as well probably let him die given he's only got five wounds left against damage four. But hey, maybe we'll get lucky. Well, I've hit you with everything. I'm now wounding you on twos because of- Finest hour. I two roll three ones oh, though. Come on, Gordrak. Two roll three ones. That's four wounds with the bladed pole arm. You are reduced to five up saves because of Mystic Shield, all out defense, but I'm minus three. There's a lot of things going on. Godrak! You've got four wounds. You uh, don't. Oh, you make one. Wait, one. He's dead. Isn't he's he? unfortunately taking four, eight, 12 damage because of the flaming weapon. Does he explode? 
He doesn't even explode. He just scampers off somewhere. So the king, oh, he puts his trident oh through his through the dragon's <laughs> mouth and then it hits Gordrak up. And <laughs> I reckon Gordrak probably is, is a bit more cunning and probably just lets the mount die and runs off. Yeah, I imagine that's what happens. I he comes I'm, back I'm busy like, like sapping like the soul of the dragon. I let yeah. you run off. Yeah, so he's like, I'll come back for you. Okay. Like a Poor big straw. Dragon. No, that was pretty nasty. Oh. Right, it's now time for the bloodthirsty yeah. shivers. So on sixes to hit, it counts as three hits because they're also, he's within uh, range of his friends there. Yes! So we're going to open up, doesn't matter which one, but uh, let's say it's the one on the outside here. Right, any sixes will be bad for you. Uh, it's a good start. Okay, well they all hit anyway, but I also get two additional <laughs> hits. So it's three to <laughs> Uh, this is with a ferocious bite, uh, folks. Uh, they are hitting on, they were hitting on twos anyway because uh, of being within range of the king. Yes. Now to wound you. It is threes to wound. Uh, I wound you three times. These are rend of two and they're damaged two. Hey, yep. Uh, you kill two. Is that two? Did, what's they your got save? six up saves, got four up base. Oh, so that's six damage. Yeah, that's, yeah, that two, is, dead that's two dead. Okay, and then of course I have the barbed hooks and blades, of which I have six attacks. Yes. Uh, these are also hitting on twos because they're near the king. <laughs> they all hit. They're hungry uh, for the orc ham. Threes to wound. They, they all wound. These are minus one rend, but they're only damage one. How many wounds was that? Six. Oh. Hey, yep. Okay, so I saved two, but that is another one slain and one takes a wound. Okay, so that's the first of the Alapex. <laughs> On to the second one. Well, now because I've had some wounded models, I've He's, got bloodthirsty predators. Smell. I get an extra attack with the other one. Right, that again. mushroom soup on the wind, I smell. <laughs> six, sixes may cause... <laughs> I don't even want to know. Four extra hits. <laughs> But I'll take away the one that missed. Stop it! They're already dead! <laughs> the good news is I did fail to wound with three. Oh, yeah, that is good news. The, the bad news is I wounded you four times. These are minus two, damage two. Just got to roll four sixes. It'll be fine. Oh, it was a good effort. Um, was but that you've only got um, four wounds left. Yeah, yeah they're dead. dead. They, they, are, they are dead. They, they gave a good account for themselves. I rolled two sixes. Good work, lads. Good work. Take it back. No, you do have one I'm wound left. left. Yeah. Fruit yeah. boss, come on, lad. I've only taken one wound, not two. Yeah. Right, and now I do have the rider on top, hitting on twos. I do roll two one. The six doesn't explode there, does it? No, no it's, it's just only with the ferocious bite. Makes sense. I mean, it's already way. <laughs> it's already good enough. Um, I do wound you four times though, and this is minus one. Come on. If I get the roll I got last time. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. So close. He's but yeah, dead. he is. He's been stabbed he's... to death. The they've they've been. It's a bit of a massacre for them all. Oh dear. All right, well look, the good news is, if you can consider it good news. <laughs> well, I did get gaining momentum. I killed that unit and I'm now you holding did. more objectives. Soon. You are now, I've yes. got my battle tactic. Yes, uh, I am also holding one, holding two and holding more. So I get all of the did. points this turn. I've done some serious damage. Oh, Sigmar can be brutal. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. it was one of those things. It was all kind of always, always, it was a ticking time bomb with Gordrak. It's like either I leave him over here and you still would have shot him. Yeah. I mean, he lost so many wounds just to shooting anyway. So Also, if you had, if he had done, which I think statistically, he should destroyed have that unit and then you had double turned me. Then yeah. Also, the game would be completely That's different. the thing. I kind of had to go on the front foot, but hey. Well, look, you still got plenty of infantry I, left. I, some, I don't know what they do. I so I, well, I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> Gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> Right. Right. Now, there's an old orc saying. Yes. That when the going gets tough, you've just got to... The world's happening this turn. It doesn't actually happen in the command phase, but it's happening. I'm okay. saying it now, so okay. you're all ready, so you know what's happening. <laughs> because it's just... What does it do? Um, so basically, you normally do it at the start of the charge phase, but it's cool to do it now, yeah, because yeah. I feel like after gordrak has gone down, you could just imagine like the rain's yeah, coming down, huge... and all the orcs are just like... You know that bit in... Um, Helm's Deep when the, the guy accidentally shoots the yes. arrow and then he'll just start going like yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. all going nuts that's what's happening now so the orcs are going to try for a bit of a majestic comeback we'll okay. see how it goes okay. it's all going to start with a few different things I'm going to start with some spells um, from some battle tactic games oh, of course um, we're going for eye for an eye because okay. you've killed Gordrak so we're going to kill your um, really fleshy dudes over here so hopefully that's I can enough. mask them we will see and your heroic action my heroic action I'll see if I can get an extra CP for um, Big Base Barry the warlord Okay. I don't, because I called him Big Base Barry. That's one you, Jinx, not me. <laughs> um, and are you trying to get a CP? Uh, I'm going to try and get a CP. When can I do heroic recovery? 
Oh, I think you can do it now. Yeah, you can, you can do okay. that now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check how that works and get back to you. <laughs> Turns out it's gonna need 12 2d6 for the bravery. So I've got to get uh, under the bravery there, which is fine, which gives me d3 wounds back. It is just a one wound back, just so he's taken four instead of five. Very well. Um, in terms of other Iron Jewels bits to do, um, the Mega Boss is going to do uh, Mighty Destroyers. Okay. Um, he is going to do that on the um, Morgoth's Crushers um, over here, and potentially these Brutes, um, but I'll figure that I'll do that in a minute. Um, the um, War Chanter, nearly forgot his name, is going to put the um, Get and Beat onto the boss himself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ooh. That does go off. Great success. That's exciting. So I get, um, I can charge from 18 inches away and I get 3d6 to charge. Oh, nice. So hopefully that'll uh, try to line up what I want to do. Okay. Um, and then in terms of spells, um, the weird knob shaman is going to try and cast Mystic Shield onto the Mega Boss as well. Okay. Uh, yep. Um, that does go off. Are you going to attempt to deny that, sir? Because I believe, yeah, you're in within denial range from your... What other spells do you have? You have a teleport, don't you? I have a teleport. It's not really useful to me at this stage, so I'm going to abstain from using it for now. I rolled a five, six, seven, eight, nine. What did you roll? An eight? Six, seven, eight, nine. Well, then it goes off. Oh, for a second, I was like, oh, that's beat. dangerously close. <laughs> <laughs> These brutes are moving forwards to secure the objective. The war chanter will also move forwards. As will Morgulk's crushers. The brutes move forward. I should mention as well the war chanter next to them has given them violent fury because he can. The war boss moves around the corner. Well, there's no shooting because you killed Gordrak. So we're going straight on into the charge phase. I am in the um, So I will be getting plus one to my charges and extra rend when I'm in combat, which oh, is nice. very, very yeah. nice. Okay. We start with Morgoth's Crushers who are going to attempt to judge. Okay. Hey, yep. Splendid. That's they get where I like them. So they will move into the, what are they called again? The Marty? The Thralls, yes. The Thralls, yeah. They yes. will move into there. That is my eye for an eye target. So I hope to kill them. Yes. So they'll be able to do that. But then the Mega Boss, is going to charge a Leviathan. Okay. He's got 3d6 because he's got the get. Oh, epic. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> can you re-roll it? I can with a CP, yes. <laughs> Why? Why? Yep. Oh, Thank sir. goodness oh, for that. Thank you. I feel sorry for you at this point. Thanks, man. One more charge to do. Um, these brutes are going to also try and make a charge. They just about make it with the plus one. <laughs> Why do I make things so difficult for well, You're very stressful. I, I'm stressing myself stressful. out. Yeah. Combat phase. I believe you have something to do at the start of the combat phase. Yes, my Thrall Master will put them into the way of the Riptide, which is uh, minus one to wound me. Very well. Some vain hope that it may save those Thrall. <laughs> Well, you know, I had to use my CP earlier, so I can't want to attack with this lot. Um, these are fighting the, the brutes in the ruins, are fighting the Marty Thrills. Yep. Uh, I'll start with the brute choppers. I'm in the wasp, so I get extra rend, and because they're violent fury, I get extra damage. So it's all okay. very nice. Okay. So, threes. Uh, oh, do when do I do the monstrous actions? That is at the start of the oh, end let's of the just charge. Carry on, and then I'll just do it. Yes, so it won't affect Because it wouldn't these, have affected it will that affect unit these anyway. Two. That is, yeah, in theory we should have done it at the start of yeah. the but this is it's all fine to do it Still this way around. Sorry. <laughs> I have hit you a good amount of times, but now I will be wounding you on fours. Because of my minus one to wound. Yes, indeed. Gotcha. Hey, yep. Um, it's okay. It's not too bad. It's not great. It did make a difference. Um, so that is four, five at minus two rend. Right. Now, normally that I wouldn't have a save here, but they do get a plus one save because they're wholly within 12 inches of the Leviathan. That's cool. Void drum. Uh, so six is. I save one. They right. are two damage a pop. Two, four, six, eight would mean that the unit is not appreciated. It's dead. <laughs> Brutes. Uh, so, right. I'll do my stomp now. I'm actually going to do my stomp on these. Uh, guys it, here. Yeah, because um, yeah, these um, seven wounds, you don't get the d6. It's only against one wound. One it's only D6 against one on wound, yes. Big. Um, 
flat. It doesn't go off anyway, so it doesn't oh, matter. Fair enough. Uh, okay, that's my monster section done. I, cool. I am going to spend the CP and put all out defense on the Leviathan. That makes sense. Uh, and I can do that from, oh, the Thrall Master, which for some reason I picked up. You thought he was a Thrall! Even though he is. He'll be very offended by that. Alive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can't find the model. There he is. He was yes. hiding. He wasn't hiding. dead. He's back. He's alive. Hello. He's returned from the dead. <laughs> cool. um, uh, so, yeah, so all out defense. Because of smashing and bashing, I have killed a unit, so I can now activate again, as is my writer as an Uruk. Yep. I'm going to pick the Mega Boss. I'm also going to activate his relic called Destroyer. Yeah. Which means I add three to the damage characteristics Sounds of my amazing. weapon. So, this is the Hail Mary of Hail Marys, because maybe, just maybe, I might be able to kill the Leviathan. Well, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. See, how, okay, see what happens. Okay. Cool. Um, threes to hit. Threes to hit. The dream is. Oh, dead. okay. <laughs> Wow. That's so lame. Oh well, um, to wound you will be threes. And I have you wounded you three, three times. This is at minus two rent. Okay, well with all out defense, I would effectively have a one plus save. So it takes um, you to a threes three. on this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, three you say? One goes through. So you take five damage. I do take five wounds, which Ooh, is a lot of damage. It's not bad. You could have killed him in one go. That was a very rubbish roll. Oh man, the war boss. Right, well, with that uh, in mind, the Leviathan will um, do his little pile in around this model and take his <laughs> friend with him. He's taking the thrall with him. Because his axe Goodness. is stuck in a fin. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. uh, you were just within half an inch of me, so I yep. can come in a little bit closer. Uh, right, I'm going to snap my jaws on this unit, because obviously they're going to try and hit me as well. Morgox well, crushes. So, crushing jaws. There are only sixes here. I don't. Uh, so that's, that's taken Praise out. Me. But they do both hit. Uh, and then to wound you... They do both wound. These are minus two. Two sixes. Yeah, they're minus two. It is eight six. Oh, six. Good well effort. done. That's damage three. One is dead. One is dead. <laughs> uh, then we have the massive side fins, fins of which we have four attacks here. Uh, they also hit on twos. Oh, it's very accurate. Although I roll two ones. Okay, so I like. To be to... fair, I'd like to think with fins that big, it'd be hard one to miss. One wound. <laughs> True. One wound at minus one. Yeah. Oh, oh, the force field's enacted. I save it. Okay, fine. Uh, and then we have six attacks. Four, Come five, six so attacks. Uh, these are only damage one. But you've gotten rid of the worst damage because that was damage four. Okay. <laughs> um, that's four hits. <laughs> and then to wound you. That's three wounds. The rend hitter. Is one. Yep. I kill another one anyway. Okay. Very well. So one's left alive. Morgok himself. <laughs> Well, Morgok's left alive, so he's going to take his shift. He's going to cut the underbelly of the beast. That's what he's going to try and do. He's got three attacks. He will be hitting on twos here because he's got duff up the big thing. Okay. Which what brutes have him because he's massive. He gets to duff him up. That's very nice. That's nice. Yep. He hits all the times. Okay. To wound you. Uh, yep. Two. He wounds you twice. These are at minus two because of the wow. Okay, but I've got effectively a one-up save. So back to threes. Back to threes. I do make both. And to be fair, he's trying to stab you with knives against. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's bing, bing. Big <laughs> uh, okay. Look, that's. I don't have anything else to fight with. That's. That is it. the turn. So I do get my battle tactic. Battle shock. Yeah. Do you need a battle shot for that three-person yeah, unit, or is that? Does. Yeah. He's got bravery six. Oh. oh. Morgok. He is okay. Right. He's yeah, fine. He's okay. Brave lad, he's okay. stuck in the turret. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. that. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I did what I needed to do. Eye for an eye is done. The brutes powered up and did that. Um, I am holding two objectives, but I'm not holding more. It is a shame about not doing as much damage. Because destroy you can only do once. That is a bit pants. It is a shame. I'm shocked. Because if I could at least get him close to death or even bracket yeah, him, with that, you then him, maybe been been I would have so had a chance cool. to finish him off. But he's going to come back, the turtle, vengeance turtle. Yeah, the, the big problem yeah. that you have now is, right, we need to roll for priority. We do indeed. You could double turn me. This is true. You could double turn me here. But I will be I in the tide. I'll be in the high tide, which means I strike first. You go. You regardless. You go. Uh, I do roll a six. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if you can. Yeah, even. you just automatically get priority. Yeah, because that's the natural. Yeah. Well, it, it's nice that this game's been consistent. It would have yeah. been weird if it suddenly spikes my way. <laughs>Here we go, it's my hero phase. Uh, my battle tactic is also now going to be an eye for an eye since you <laughs> killed my thralls. Touche, sir. The world cannot see. Arr. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to try and heroic recovery again. Very well. 
That goes off. Do I get more than the one wound this time? I do. I recover two more wounds. Very well. Um, would you like to? Do yeah, I'll, I'll, for what it's worth, I'll try and get to the bonus CP. I've already done the finest tower, so. Okay. There you go. Um, I do. As well. Can't make a loss. Um, I will also. I'll put a finest tower on this guy because you can't do more than one I, heroic action. Yes, instead. Because you already did it over on here. a different character. You yes. Can only, you can only do one heroic action per turn. Gotcha. So that will be my heroic recovery. I'll keep that. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll try and do Flaming Weapon. Very well. Flaming Weapon. Uh, it would go off, but do you deny? I'm going to try and deny. An Orc deny. Yep. Four, five, six. You do yes. just deny. Yes. Go ah. win. Yeah. No Flaming Weapon for me. That's the hero phase done. Battle tactic has picked. It's now time for movement. Since I now have this objective uh, under my control, this... Alapex, Bloodthirsty Shiver, flow over here, just stopping three inches away. And then this one will do the same. Just stopping three inches away. And the king, come over here. Now afforded two extra wounds, that's nice. And then finally this Bloodthirsty Shiver will come and support. Hello, swimming fish. Good day. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. This fish. Fly over here. Hello. Okay, the Namasi Reavers. I'm going to fire at those Orlocks. Yes, um, I will all out defend them because... <laughs> Yeah. And wait, what changed about the oh, hero phase, yes, everyone? Of course. Um, the mega boss is actually doing his finest hour. I was under the impression you couldn't do it on multiple on different characters. You, can, you can do it on different characters. You can do it once yes, per character. Apparently only the one. Gordrick had his finest Gordrick hour. He's having his finest hour. Yeah. Uh, Candy. Well, now I'm going to shoot you in the face. Okay. <laughs> Threes. <laughs> Followed. The sixes don't do anything, do they? No, oh, not okay. in this instance. You're okay. The, I mean, the fact that I fight first with everything this turn. Yeah, it should probably. Um... It's, it's probably good enough, I would say. Well, uh, be your business, <laughs> that. Incredibly powerful rule. Uh, and then threes to wounds. Okay, cool. That's three, six, nine wounds at minus one rend. But you do have your all out defense. Yes, so I'll be back to my four ups. Four ups. Nine four up saves, sir. <laughs> nine four up saves. Not bad. Not bad, actually. So uh, one dies and one loses a win. Yes, indeed. Alrighty. The Leviathan is going to shoot yeah, the one good. that just smashed an axe into yeah. it. Because he's stuck. He's uh, trying to get out. The Thrallmaster will issue an all-out attack order Makes sense. To, to him. Yeah, he's, not, he's not within an inch of anything that's got three no. more models, so, so he can't Galatian make a champion. champion. This champion uh, can be targeted. Yes. It makes sense as well thematically. Oh, yeah, exactly. Right, I think the, he's on the ship. All-out attack actually made a big difference. Yeah, he's probably leapt up there. Yeah, he's up he? there fighting them. Yeah. The crew are fighting yeah. him. <laughs> um, oh, I did whiff badly on the wounds, though. That is just three wounds. Three wounds, and um, because of my um, um, fire style, I will have three, sa three up saves here. Just one, fair that enough. Continues. I'll take it. D3 dead of damage. It is the big three. Significance. Okay. Ooh. The Alapex now will shoot uh, at those orcs, those boys holding Very the Very well. Alapex. Oh, that's nice. Alapex, we're wounded on threes. We wound you twice. It's minus one rend. So these are on your smaller boys. Yeah, on the smaller boys. So it's minus one rend. Okay, cool. Oh, sorry, how many wounds was that? Two. Two. Right. They save both. Okay. Four up save both. Woo! On to the Alapex next to hit. Four hits. Four wounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. Um, okay. Okay. I say three, but one does go through. Three, three damage. It's three wounds. You kill one and a half. Okay. I'm going to fire last Alapex at them too. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, only the two hits. Only the one wound. Uh, yep. You don't that make that failed. save. Another D3 damage. It's just a one, but it would You'll kill another. You finish him off. Because he was on one wound. Very well. That's the charge phase then. The Alapexes are going to, they smell the blood in the water. Yeah. They're going to charge. They've traced them with the harpoons. The uh, nearest one to you gets a four. The next nearest one gets a five, which funnily enough will yeah. actually work. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to um, it. Yeah. And then we'll do the high king. So we've got a four and a five so far. Oh, Ooh. okay. We've got a four, and he gets a five. Uh, that might make the character. I'm going to have to come over and measure. 
Uh, yeah, the king gets in just, um, and then with yeah. piling shenanigans, I can totally make to get it work. Off, yeah. uh, this Alapex, uh, oh, five, six, seven, eight. That's a nice old charge. Very nice. Um, okay, I'll work out where he's going to go in a minute. I'll leave Choices. the eight by him. Uh, this Morsar guard will charge. Yes, indeed. Four, five, six, seven. He's definitely going to move in yep. this way. The jelly deal. Ah, hello. Um, why do you know we'll stay on this side? Cool, and then um, I'm going to charge with my Thrall Master into... <laughs> oh, he gets wow! a double six! <laughs> he <laughs> <He's>... loves it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's going to come in this way. Uh, and that's it. Okay, Ugh. so I'll just move that last Alapex. Right, end of the charge phase. I do need to roll for a Mortal Wound potential on this Morsar Guard, but I also want to just do the monstrous action. I'm going to try and stomp your character, your war boss. It goes off. It's another <laughs> D3. It's two mortal wounds. He's only got a wound left. Oh my goodness. He's got six oh wounds. Oh my goodness. I know he's got two wounds left, but he is, he is in a bad way. Okay, does the Warsaw Guard's um, biovoltaic oh, blast go off? It does. Uh, so it's uh, D3 mortal wounds. No, it's one inch in any models for four plus one mortal wound because I didn't roll a six. Oh, okay, cool. I so take a mortal wound. That's it. Okay. Right, I've already piled in that far Alapex over there, the Blood Shiver. Yes, uh, indeed. He does have an extra attack because the blood is in the water. I've got within six inches of a uh, wounded unit. Uh, six is to hit with countless three hits. <laughs> I'll start with those ferocious bites, shall I? Yep, fair enough. You'll be lucky to know that I didn't get any sixes. I did drop a hit as well, but I do hit on two. You get, you get your plus one from the, the king. king. There's a lot of... There's a lot of... Lo Layers, yeah, a lot of like rules. an onion. I only wound you once. Only okay. wound me once? Only once. It is minus two. Oh, okay. Yep. I do not save that. Damage, damage two. I'm um, killed no dude. Okay, then we have six attacks for five, six attacks from guy on the top there. That's five hits. And then to wound you, that's three wounds. Um, the rend here, sir? Uh, the rend is one. And it's yep. damage one. Um, I save one, but two go through, you kill another one. Okay. Whittling me down! It's only damage one on that. Oh, did you fail two there? I fell two, yeah. Okay, these so guys are only two wounds, they're not as big and chunky. Okay, all right, so two dead. Okay, I've actually piled the king in next, so I'm a bit worried that he won't be able to get uh, into range of the orcs if I lose another two there. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to attack the king. That's how Very it's well. going to be. And now he's in range of two different units. Uh, I'll mm -hmm. get plus four attacks. So three, four, five, six, seven attacks with my bladed pole arm, mm. which is just bonkers. Mm. Mm. Uh, okay, here we go. We're hitting on twos. We do roll two ones. Uh, we then, sorry, we're hitting you on threes. So one of those was a miss and I knocked the other one over. Um, and then we will wound you on twos with the bladed pole arm. That's what I was looking at. That's four wounds. These are at minus three on the charge and damage three. I see. I don't have a save. That's three, six, nine, twelve damage from the king. That's six dead. Four, six, eight, nine. That's that. He skewered him like a big kebab. Just shoo, big mushroom kebab. Again, being in the high tide, I'm fighting first with everything, which is just so bonkers good. This Alapex will uh, attack the war drummer. He's just piled in. Um, I think he's just chanting. He's this just holding these spikes. Sticks. Yeah. yeah. Three hits. Ah! Uh, although I didn't get any sixes, so no additional hits. Uh, I do wound you twice. Uh, this is at minus two. Damage two. I save one, but one goes through, so he's got four wounds remaining. Okay, cool. Uh, so he has a three up save base, does he? No, he doesn't. No. So he has taken four, four he damage. Has two wounds remaining. Okay, no worries. Uh, and then you've got six attacks with the riders on top. That's a miss. And then uh, this is threes to wound. Ooh. Four wounds. And these are at minus one rend. So you will have five up saves here. I see. Hey, yep. I oh. saved two, but two go through. You do finish him off. On the... Oh no. Okay, those, uh, the last Alapex went and pile into the uh, <laughs> caster there. Uh, he only hits you twice uh, with the ferocious bite. He does wound you twice though. Uh, these are minus two, damage two. He's got two wounds left. He's okay. five on safe base. Uh, and then three, six attacks from the rider on top. Oh dear, they all hit. 
because again, the king's giving the plus one to hits because they're Arcalian. I do wound you four times there. These are at minus one rend. So what, six is this? Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> he's, he's dead too. Good okay. night, just sweet prince. That whole flank just went poof. It's the Morsar guard next. Um, this is what I have been saving my all-out defense for, just in case I can keep some brutes alive. I see. Because I need something. Well, he is the champion, so I do get three attacks from him. Champion! Uh, okay, three attacks with the Volt Spear. Uh, that is two hits, and then we don't wound you. Very well. And then we've got three attacks with the Fangs and Lashing Tail. Uh, that is two wounds, uh, sorry, two hits, yep. and then two wounds. These are minus one rend. Okay, so that's my four up. Oh, oh, that's not a good start. Well, I've saved one, but one has gone through. Because you did all out defense, right? Yes. Cool. Uh, D3 damage. I do one. So one's got one wound left. Yes, very well. Okay, that's him. It's now time for the Thralmaster. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he's going to do his five attacks with his esoteric weapon to the last of those boys. Oh, he hits you every single time. Uh, <laughs> uh. Uh, he does fail to wound you to, uh, three times, though. So that's two wounds at minus one. Yep. <laughs> it's damage two, so he's, he's dead. dead. Okay, um, yeah. I was going. I was considering doing an all-out attack on uh, this guy. I will actually put all-out defense because I hear that you can do a fight on death. He, I am dead fighting. Yeah. Okay, and I hit on twos with most of my things anyway. Well, that's nice. Yeah, because I'm not degraded enough for it to go. Away <laughs> yet. It's just, just bonkers. <laughs> like so I'm, I'm going to do the crushing jaws. I'm going to open up with that. Fair enough. Only two attacks for the crushing doors. If I do roll a six here, though, I'll pretend do. You just take three, <laughs> three mortal wounds and the attack sequence ends. So he's dead. So he is dead. He's dead. Before I do anything else. Right. Well, <laughs> at least his vengeance will be swift. Okay. Um, right. I've got all that defense on. Yeah. So if the unit is destroyed in the combat phase and it's not fought in that combat phase, it can fight immediately. Uh oh. I like to think that they think he's dead and he's on like he's on the decking of that ship. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, turtle, yeah. And they're going to like poke him. He's just like, yeah. Yeah, 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 just yeah. goes in like a, a flurry, <laughs> a finish. Two, four, six, eight. So he'll be hitting on threes, but he's wounding on twos because of his finest hour. Okay. Why? Why must it be that, this that's way? That's actually literally what you did for his attacks last time. Just why? Which is just bonkers. Well, I'm wounding you on twos, so fear me. I've wounded you twice. It's minus one. The damage is two. I do fail one. I do two damage. Okay. Dead fighty he is. Dead fighty. More Quite literally on dead. dead. <laughs> well, the brutes get to fight now. Oh, well, uh, fighting first. That's my army rule. You've stolen Yay. it from me. Um, so all the brutes are going to go to the Mortar Eel. I'll start with the brute choppers. Okay. Uh, yep. Um, they've done some good hitting there. That's very nice. We threes to wound you. Um, that's, that's more like it. That's a bit better. That is five wounds at minus one. Uh, I'm assuming I am dead. Well, yes, I am dead because I'd already taken a wound anyway. And I've already, I've most definitely failed at least four of those saves. You killed there something, you go. Thank James. goodness. Fish and chips are served. Om nom 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 nom. Okay, so that is the end of the turn. <laughs> yeah. It was a good one, that. Uh, yeah. Oh. Fight first is devastatingly powerful. Yeah. I really get the obviously second time using the Ideneth Deepkin. Would be curious to hear your thoughts on the list, mm -hmm. but um, which turns out to be pretty good, I think. But for me, uh, it feels like there wasn't too much you could do there. It feels like so far, you actually kind of, if you'd gone first or gotten the double turn early, mm -hmm. then it might be a very different game now. But yeah. as it stands, I've obviously scored the maximum points yeah. there. I've got the battle I mean, tactic, uh, eye for an eye, yeah. and I've got now three objectives across the board, two of which yeah. are sticky. So it is your turn next, your turn it, three. I mean, it is my turn, yes. but I am going to concede, right. mainly because I can get Desecrate the Lands as a battle tactic, yep. and I am on one objective. My issue is, because you fight first... Yeah, you, if any, any, any charges you do in your next turn, you will start I will it. fight first. Yeah. And I don't have a Gordrak which... or a Mega Boss to sort of take the brunt of an assault like that. Yeah. You've still got the Alapexes, which could probably munch through. Also, I need to take a morale on the Brutes because they lost one. He they do pass. pass, so there yeah. would be four of them. That, now, they could kill an Alapex. Okay. Maybe if they survive the fight back, they'll probably lose a couple in the oncoming. And you could unleash Hell. 
and yeah. all the rest of it. And at that point, maybe they get lucky and come Alapex. You then still have the king and two other Alapexes yes. to just shoot me off the board at that yeah. stage. Are they capable of killing Leviathan? Probably no, not. If, if What's the their mega boss One. Yeah, he's got a If the mega boss had powered up in that turn and done a bit more damage, yeah. it could have been a bit more interesting. And as you say, if I had got that double turn, things might have been different. Yeah. But... It's not looking good for the old orcs. Well, thank look, you very was, much for the game. It was a really fun game, man. Yeah, I mean, look, Sigma, you know, we found this, like, it, it, can, it just gets yeah. crazy. Like, someone could double turn someone early and the game gets really yes. brutal. But there was a lot of combat. I think, yeah, it's... A it's, lot of stuff did die. I mean, all my yeah. Morsar guard did die, my Namati. Um, died, yeah. Because I'm quite an elite army as well. Yes. I think, yeah, I think it's, it's one of those interesting ones with Sigma is that I think you basically line up for the jugular. Yeah. There's no sort of grinding out like, oh, little bits and pieces. It's essentially you either go for the kill or you don't win in that sense. Yeah. It seems to be that's how it goes. Both of these armies work that way. Because yeah. equally, like we said, if I had got the double turn with Gordrak, then I would have killed all this lot in that turn. It'd be very different. Um, but yeah, very well played with the Idenf. I think they're, they are a spice of meatball. Yeah, I... <laughs> Spicy I little, didn't know that they were this good. That's a little bit of tuna. Uh, now, it's one of these things, because my two favourite armies in Sigma, well, one was an old school army, sold mm. like Grave Lords, I just love vampires. Yeah. And then I see elf vampires, I had to do <laughs> them too. Uh, they feel really strong to me. My understanding is from a competitive point of view, they're actually only like mid-tier now. Yeah. For me, they feel really good. If you use them well and you make a, a good list, mm. they can be devastating. They feel very alpha strikey. Yes. A bit Drakari like If yeah. everything goes right in the first few turns, it's the get basically game over. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, interesting, yeah. interesting army. And again, the double turn could have swung it the other way. If you'd gone first and I hadn't been able to screen you yeah. out. I think really the way this matchup was always probably going to go like that because yeah. both armies are relying on that equally. Like with you're saying with the fight first thing, if I'd got all the charges where I wanted yeah. them, it would be smashing and bashing, smashing and bashing, yeah. smashing so and bashing. Yeah, so if you'd gone first, I wouldn't have had the screen. You could have charged, or I yeah. had my little screen. I tried to screen as much, but you yeah. could have killed them and then killed something else. Because so, so, the Morsar yeah. guard came up here, if I had gone first, I could have teleported Gordrak over this That's way. That's right, yeah. It would have so, been very different. There was a plan. There was an argument that I could have been more defensive with him, but because of the shooting, I kind of had to hope and go for the front foot because right. you're going for that jugular, which is an interesting dynamic. Um, let me know, Iron Jaws fans, like how you deal with shooting armies. I found there wasn't much I could really do against shooting. Yes because I am quite squishy. And that's fine when you're in combat, because you can fight back just as hard. But, you know. Yeah. Well, look, we hope you enjoyed that uh, debut for the Oryx. Uh, yes! And yeah. Not the Deepkin. You've already seen the Deepkin. But my debut the for the Deepkin uh, here on the YouTubes. Thank you very much to our end of spell, Jinx. <laughs> Ooh, <that was laughs> thank you very much <laughs> to the Bard. Thank you. And I won't thank me for my hideous luck. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> thank you. you. Spider for the game. Until next time. Bye-bye for now. Uh, Bye-bye.